In this tutorial, we're going to look at how to get an Elements class with JavaScript. So I'm going to show you three different ways that you can get the class name of an element with JavaScript. Let's first get a reference to one of our elements that's on our page. And the paragraph tag at the top has a couple of classes applied to it of heading and text. So let's go ahead and store that in a variable in the console. And with the element selected and stored in the temp1 variable, we can look at different ways to get the elements class with JavaScript. So the first one is really easy. We simply say temp1.className. And you can see that gives us the text that's just inside of the class attribute as specified in the HTML markup. So that's probably the simplest way. The other way that you can do that is to actually access the get attribute property, which will also give you the same result. If we wanted to get the individual ones, we'd need to actually split that string using the split function. But if you do need to work with the individual classes that are applied to an element, there is a final way to do this using a property called class list which looks similar to the result of the split function that we did above, but the class list is actually an object that gives us the ability to add and remove classes that are applied to the element that's selected. So here, by calling the remove function, we can actually remove one of the classes that are applied to that paragraph tag. And if you want some more information on how to manage classes using the class list property, check out the JavaScript how-to that goes into depth on how to add and remove classes on particular elements. And if you're wondering which one of these approaches you should be using to actually get the class name, then probably the most flexible is to use the class list because you can extract the individual classes themselves or check if the list has a certain class that you're looking for.